I discussed the slowly progressing myeloma after first line treatment and in fact I think it's very clear that for those patients who are coming normally out of a proteasome inhibitor based first line treatment there's a clear benefit if those patients receive a lenalidomide dexamethasone based backbone therapy and it was now shown in all those phase three trials coming up last year with novel triplet combinations that the lenalidomide dexamethasone backbone as a standard backbone um, with very sustained responses and durable responses with a PFS of about 15 to 19 months. And it's much superior to a, again a bortezomib backbone bone or bortezomib retreatment. Um, so, but you have now to consider to go for a uh, lenalidomide dexamethasone plus combination. There were very intriguing data on carfilzomib lenalidomide dexamethasone combinations um, which came out with the results of the ASPIRE trial uh, showing at this time as uh, so far not reached progression-free survival um, of uh, this triple combination in relapsed myeloma patients. They also now approved the uh, combination of lenalidomide dexamethasone with alotuzumab. In fact, this was the first monoclonal antibody approved for myeloma. This is a very special and intriguing antibody because it has a dual mechanism of action. It somehow flags the myeloma cell and then activates the uh, natural killer cell to um, lead to apoptosis, but it's not active as a single agent. It needs the immunomodulating component with the lenalidomide. And um, I um, showed one case where we had an elderly patient coming out um, after a VMP treatment with a slowly progressing myeloma showing under alotuzumab, lenalidomide, dexamethasone at this time in the Eloquent II trial, it was not approved at this time, a sustained remission to close to two years again with a very well tolerable regimen. And I showed another case of a transplant eligible patient um, who uh, showed a relapse after the first line treatment, including high dose therapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. The, this patient, in fact, denied first an oral treatment, although we considered the lenalidomide dexamethasone based treatment. And she was treated with carfilzomib dex, but did not tolerate it somehow, had no good outcome under bortezomib dex, and then went on lenalidomide dex. And in fact, at this time, we had not the approval for uh, putting alotuzumab or some other agent on top, but we used our important um, treatment option of again high dose treatment autologous transplant and the patient received lenalidomide dexamethasone for three cycles then underwent again in relapse and autologous stem cell transplantation after high dose mefalan went to lenalidomide maintenance and has since 2014 again a sustained complete remission and I think this um, sh clearly shows that even now in relapse we have the option to achieve sustained remissions and we have various treatment options and the challenge is now to sequence this right and find out for which patient which uh, treatment we choose.